RME now ships the ADL2 deck in a new version. The digital to analog converter ship changed from an AK4493 built by the Japanese firm AKM to an ES9028Q2M from the US based company ESS. This video hopefully answers all your questions. At the end of 2020, a fire destroyed AKM's production facilities for AD and DA converter ships. A resumption of production and thus availability of these components is not expected before 2022. Therefore, many manufacturers, we too, are forced to either discontinue products based on AKM ships or to use different ships for the foreseeable future. We are living in times of a global chip crisis with extreme, never before encountered production and distribution challenges. The new chip should have similar tech specs and features as the former AKM, and it should be available. The ES9028Q2M passed our list of specs like distortion, THD, distortion plus noise, THD plus N, reconstruction filters, out of band filtering, and signal to noise ratio. Comparing the AK4493 with the ES9028Q2M, performance is very similar. There are many differences, but they are small and not relevant. Looking over the myriad of specs to describe deck ships, on some the ESS has an advantage, on others the AKM, but overall they are on a similar level. That would be a typical case of diminishing returns. Our goal was being able to continue production, not to make a new or updated unit that makes the former units look outdated. The ADIs have zero hum, inaudible noise under any real-world condition and no audible distortion. There is nothing to improve other than tech specs that one cannot hear, only measure with very expensive tools. For us, the ADI2 duck is the same unit as before. Also, the duck ship is a central, in many other units even the most important element, the ADI2 duck is not your usual deck. Tech specs and features are based on RME technologies and they are available unchanged also with the ESS chip. These include all PCM sample rates from 32 kHz up to 768 kHz, DSD64 up to DSD256. All digital formats, SPDIF coaxial with AACBU compatibility, optical SPDIF, even in AAS channel status mode and ADAT optical. Steady Clock FS, RME's famous jitter destroying yet quick and flexible clock technology, including the latest 1Hz filter edition via firmware update. The complete DSP functionality, parametric 5 band equalizer, bass and treble controls, RME's admired loudness control implementation, crossfeed, digital volume control, including hybrid digital analog auto ref functionality, and many, many more. Fully balanced and DC coupled analog output circuitry including autoref and 2.5 dB digital headroom. Extreme power headphone output stage with lowest noise, lowest distortion and unique protection circuits. Remote control, gorgeous display, the general behavior, operation and and and. The main differences are filters. The AKM unit has a filter called short delay low dispersion while the one with ESS has a filter called brick wall. The other, more often used filters, SD sharp, SD slow, sharp, slow and NOS are available in both units. DSD direct is not available on ESS units. These ships do not support DSD direct with a hardware bypass within the ship as the AKMs do. But their included extensive volume control is set to process DSD data without PCM conversion. In that case, DSD Direct is active all the time and volume control still works. Expert settings. The ESS chip allows to tune harmonic distortion compensation for left and right channel. The menu Expert settings allows the user to modify our factory settings. It is easy to answer this question by checking the near identical tech specs, which are far below any audible threshold. But we are well aware that some think ducks have their own sound signature and ESS reputation in these circles is anything but good. So let me give you some other arguments why the ESS chip in an RME unit can sound like the AKM chip. What could possibly make a chip sound different? The clocking. In nearly all ducks out there, the ESS chip runs on a fixed master clock frequency in ASRC mode. Steady clock provides a jitter suppression on external inputs like a speediv that outperforms most of the typical ESS ducts available. Reconstruction filters 
have been made as similar as possible. If you hear tiny sound differences between these filters, they will be the same on the AKM and the ESS unit. Digital headroom. Missing in most ESS ducts out there. The ES chip uses an asynchronous simple rate converter, therefore will show clipping as soon as the digital level exceeds 0 dBFS. So-called intersample peaks, which exceed this level, are quite common. AKM ships handle these overs gracefully up to plus 2.5 dBFS. ESS does not. Therefore, RME gave the ES chip a digital headroom of 2.5 dB plus 0.5 additional dynamic range through clever hardware modification. With full 3 dB of distortion-free operation above 0 dBFS, this possible reason for a sound difference is gone. It is well known that today's duck ships are so good that the main difference in sound comes from the analog output circuit instead. If that is the case, then you don't have to worry. We use the exact same extensive output circuit in both models. After the additional I2U converter stage, which is a must with ESS ships, the complete former circuitry is used. Combined servo balanced filter driver, relay reference level adjustment, balanced output stage for XLR and balanced to unbalanced converter for RCA. With the whole signal path fully balanced and DC coupled, we guarantee highest performance and zero phase shift at the lower end. That's easy. The ESS version has a small C at the end of the serial number sticker.